God is a God that answers by fire, so He will answer you even before you call His name. He honors His words more than His name, and He said in His word that we should call on to Him, and He will answer, and He will show us great and mighty things which we do not know. God will answer you even before you call, because He knows the desires of your heart, the intricacies of your heart, so He knows when you're in trouble and need help. Sometimes He doesn't need to allow you to call upon Him before He even comes to your rescue. Mankind did not do anything to deserve God's forgiveness. We did not ask for Him to come to the earth and die for us. Yet He did. He came in human flesh and suffered what He would have chosen not to suffer and die like a mere man. If God can go that length for you and me, then He can answer you even before you call. God will answer you even before you call on to Him, because He is the God that, that does not change. From generation to generation, He remains the same. He never fails. He loves us with an everlasting love. God knows every one of your needs and desires. He searches through the heart of man. He knows our every intent, and He knows what we go through every day of our lives. So do not panic, nor be afraid. God is by your side, and He's there always guiding and protecting you as a good shepherd would. The Bible in Isaiah 65 verse 24 says, And it shall be that before they call I will answer, and while they are yet speaking I will hear. God will answer when we are yet speaking. That means before we even open our mouths. Oh, how wonderful the love of the Lord is towards us, His children. God sees the heart of a man, and He knows when a person needs Him, so He will answer us. There are situations when we're too weak to call on the name of the Lord. In that situation, God will just look at your heart and see. So even before you can open your mouth to call upon God, He answers your cry and delivers you out of the problem you may be in. God will answer you, so be rest assured, because He loves you. Do not worry about what is happening around you. As long as you're in God's will for your life, He will hear you and answer you in ways you do not expect. God is not the author of confusion. It is true that He said, Ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will be open unto you. But let me tell you today that different situations warrant different actions in our dealings with God. Do not think because He did it in one way today, He will do it the same way tomorrow. He is the God of all flesh. Nothing is too hard for Him to do. Remember that God is a good shepherd, and He knows how to take care of His sheep. In the Bible, in Psalms 23, verse 1 to 6, it says, The Lord is my shepherd, to feed, guide, and shield me. I shall not lack. He makes me lie down in fresh, tender, green pastures. He leads me beside the still and restful waters. He refreshes and restores my life, myself. He leads me in the paths of righteousness, uprightness, and right standing with Him, not for my earning it, but for His name's sake. Yes, though I walk through the deep, sunless valley of the shadow of death, I will fear or dread no evil, for you are with me, your rod to protect and your staff to guide. They comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My brimming cup runs over. Surely, or only goodness, mercy, and unfailing love shall follow me all the days of my life, 
and through the length of my days, the house of the Lord and His presence shall be my dwelling place. God will answer you before you call Him. This is not in any way trying to make you complacent. The Lord also admonishes us to ask and it will be given unto us. All this is trying to say is that the Lord knows. Do not come to Him like He does not understand you or that it will look like a new case to Him. He knows the end from the beginning. And so, even before we encountered that problem, God saw it and He made provision for it. God will answer you before you call because He hears, He knows and he understands. He knows that you have needs, and he is not going to tie down answering you to when you ask him. No, he will answer you even before you call. Isaiah 65 verse 24 states, Before they call, I will answer. While they are yet speaking, I will hear. This means that God anticipates our necessities, and in love, lays the foundation for granting our needs before we ask. It is a misconception to behave as if we're talking to a stingy God, who only moves to help people after much prayer. Our God does not wake up into action when we call. Unfortunately, the prayers admired by some Christians are when people shout, Elijah organized a showdown between the prophets of Baal and the true and living God. Elijah told the prophets of Baal to call on their God to cause fire to burn and the bulls on the altar. At noon, Elijah began to taunt them. Shout louder, he said. Perhaps he is deep in thought, busy or sleeping and must be awakened. Our God is not deaf or asleep like Baal. When you understand God in this order, you will learn to trust Him more and better. The Bible says that we should trust in the Lord and lean not on our understanding. In all our ways, we should acknowledge Him and He will make our path straight. Prayer is not primarily about informing God about our needs because God knows our needs better than us. Matthew 6, verse 5 to 8 states, And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. Nevertheless, we continue with long prayers, as if God does not know current affairs or God will be more inclined to answer the longer we pray. No matter how long we pray, there are things we get from God that we did not ask for. Do we think if we do not pray and ask God for air one day, He will not give it to us? Do we believe that God sees our need for healing and will not heal us because we did not pray? Parents give children food, drink, and clothes without the children asking for them. Then why do we think God is only moving to do good because of our prompting? If God only moved based on our prayers, then the world would be in a greater mess. Prayer is more about prompting us to do God's will and do good rather than prompting God to do good. God will do good whether you ask it of Him or not. Genesis 1 shows that in the creation story, God made provision for humankind before he placed Adam and Eve into the world. God made light, day, sky, seas, land, vegetation, plants, trees, sun, moon, animals, birds, everything before anyone prayed to him. The creation story is telling us that God knew what we needed for our survival and provides before we ask. So there is no need to badger God as if we're twisting His arm to give us good and perfect gifts. No need to tarry for the Holy Spirit 
as if God does not want to give us His Spirit. When we pray to God, it is to remind us that we are dependent on God. Our prayer life will be richer when we realize that God knows our needs before we pray, and He anticipates our necessities and makes provision before we ask. We must understand that it's not when we call upon the name of the Lord that He answers. God has already planned your life. He said the plans He has for us are of good and not of evil, to bring us to an expected end. So even before you call, He will answer you. Before we call, God will answer, and while we are yet speaking, God will hear. Jesus stood at the grave of Lazarus, and he lifted his eyes to heaven and said, I thank you, Father, that you have heard my prayer. He knew that God had already heard his prayer. He had only to thank God. Isaiah 65 verse 24 speaks of this same thing. Jesus did not say, Lord, raise Lazarus from the grave. Jesus knew God had heard his prayer. Therefore, Jesus thanked his Father. He knew God always heard his prayer. The prayer of true children of God will always be heard by God. God will answer you before you even call. He will come in speedily, and he will answer you.